Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali. So in the previous tutorial, as you know that we have allowed a user to uh, click on this image view. And once the user click on that image view, it will send the user to his mobile phone gallery. And now from his mobile phone gallery, a user will select any image he wants. So let's select this one. So now it sent the user to the crop image uh, activity where a user will uh, crop the image or the user can also uh, flip the image vertically and also the user can uh, flip the image horizontally okay and the user can uh, select any crop area I mean the crop image functionality for which we use the uh, image cropper library. So now in this video tutorial, we will allow a user to click on this crop button or you can say this crop option. So when the user click on that, then that image will be cropped and that image we will store inside the Firebase storage and then in the Firebase database and then we will display that image back on the uh, settings profile image view. I mean the user can then now uh, use this image in his app. Okay, so we will display that image on the settings activity to the user. So yeah, let's do that. First of all, uh, we have to uh, get that crop image and then we can store it inside the Firebase storage. So as you know that uh, in the previous tutorial we have left here, okay? So if you have not watched the previous tutorial, then please go and watch the video tutorial first. The link to the previous video tutorial will also be mentioned in the description down below. So in order to get the result or you can say the crop image, so here we can simply write result code equals to result ok so if it is equals to ok then we can say uri let's call this as result uri equals result dot get uri so this result uri basically contain the cropped image so now is the time to store this uh, crop image uh, inside the Firebase uh, storage. So for that we will be needing a uh, storage reference. So here we can say storage ref. Let's call this as file path equals. Let's create another storage reference here above so that we can uh, create a folder inside the Firebase storage for that. So here we can say private storage reference and we can call this as user profile images reference okay so in that folder we will store only the profile images of all the users so now here we can say profile sorry users profile image ref equals to firebase story dot get instance dot get ref dot child and the child i mean this will be the folder name i will also show you once we create that so this will be the profile images and now let's come down here and now here we can say users profile image ref dot child inside that folder we can now store the image by using the uh, current user id which is the id of a user you can also use a random key for storing the profile image but since we are uh, developing this chat app just like whatsapp so we want that once a user select let's say a user uh, choose i mean uh, set his profile image then if you want to change his profile image then the new profile image will replace the previous one okay so that previous one will be uh, deleted automatically i mean it will be replaced with the new one so here we can say current user id plus which is the concatenation sign dot jpg which will be the image uh, type okay we are storing alongside with the current user id we can store any image i mean select and store any image and the type uh, we are storing as dot jpeg so now is the time to uh, store this okay so we can say by using the file path you can say dot put file and we can pass the cropped image which is stored inside the result uri we can set add on complete listener so that we can see either if it is uh, uploaded or not so make sure to put a semicolon here and now inside this on complete method we can say if task dot is successful then we can uh, display a toast message to the user and that message will be profile image uploaded 
successfully and in case if any error occur then we have to display the message back to the user so here we can display uh, get first the message task dot get exception so it will basically get the error message and now we have to display it in a toast message to the user that basically what type of error occur so here we can say error and then we can display that message back to the user so yeah let's run the app but before we do that let's go to your firebase project and here you can see this third option which is storage click on that this is the firebase storage for storing the files or you can say the images so here you can see this get started click on that and then click on this got it and now let's uh, test the app so click ok and I run the app so our app is running now successfully and let's go to the storage and now here let's go to the settings and now we will uh, upload image ok so I will select this image now first let uh, flip this image I mean if you want ok and then we can crop whatever you do I mean you can also uh, directly crop the image so I will crop up to here okay and now let's click on crop and here you can see profile image uploaded successfully now if I come here and I refresh this Here we go. Here you can see that we have our folder which is profile images and if I click on that then you can see this is the unique user ID and .jpg. So we are storing the images using the uh, user ID. If I click on that then here we will see the cropped image. You can see that okay. So we have successfully uh, uploaded the cropped image to the Firebase storage. So yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that how, uh, we will basically uh, save this the link of this uh, profile image of the user inside the Firebase database and once we store this uh, image link in the Firebase database then we can uh, access and display this profile image on the settings activity I mean to the users uh, I mean so the user can see then the profile image in the app. So yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe and see you guys in the next video bye for now.